The most I made in a week was $500. I know who you are now. She is a hoe. I would be. <laughs> she is a hoe. One, I work at a hotel. The blankets only get washed once a year. Disgusting. What hotel are they working at? That's so messed <laughs> up. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to your anonymous confessions. I created an email and posted on my Instagram story asking you guys to send me your personal confessions. All of these are going to be anonymous for the user's privacy. We're but we know. Yeah. We know who, who's doing this stuff. We know. It's no, anonymous I don't, to you guys, I don't but we read know. Names. I'm not I'm not going to be picking on anybody I do. or anything. <laughs> I know who you are. Okay. First confession. So this girl at my school is a derogatory term. And Okay, you have to clarify what. What do I say for that? She's a hoe. That's not better than slut. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just going to say. So this girl at my school, this girl says is a slut and has had sex with almost every guy. And she tells me everything about it. And I don't like to hear about it, but she has been getting with a lot of girls' boyfriends. Ooh, See, that's I'm the one to shame, up. but if you're getting with someone's boyfriend, that's really not cool. That's really not cool. You know what? Um... She is a hoe. I would be. <laughs> she is a hoe. You can leave that in. Okay. If you're getting with people who are taken, you're a hoe. Home If you're isn't doing cute. that and knowing it's not it, cute. that's not nice. I don't want to nice. hear any of that. There was no home direct crap. Like if someone's dating somebody, do not hook up with them. Yeah. It's so messed up. But anyway, it's more on the person um, who's doing it. But let me so, finish sorry, the continue. story. Okay, I'm getting with girls, boyfriends at school, and I know everything. So now girls at school pay me to tell them the deeds, and so I've made cash off of this. And I think it's funny the girl hasn't found out about me telling other girls. <laughs> This, but it's pretty funny in my opinion. The most I made in a week was five hundred dollars. Bro is profiting off this. This girl you deserves what's coming for her. How many people do you have to sleep with for, to make five hundred dollars off of details? <laughs> yeah, she he a did week? say every she did say every guy in the school. Sometimes I feel like that's an exaggeration though. Not in this case, five hundred a week. Either he has some wealthy clients that's or he has a crazy. lot. So he, I think this is a girl. Oh, this is a girl. Yeah, and I thought it was a girl, guy. No, I think it's a girl because another girl is telling her about all the like the details on who she sleeps with, oh. and she's selling the information to other girls at the school. Really? Yeah. I think oh my so. gosh. <laughs> Next one is. So I'm a senior this year, and I am known to be a troublemaker. Last year was by far the worst slash most crazy year yet. The event I'm about to share is a story only my closest friends know. Last spring, I was out behind my school. It's surrounded by woods. Walking with a friend of mine who was walking to a cliff, a spot where kids do illegal activities and make out, etc. We were approached... <laughs> <laughs> a spot where people illegally make out. <laughs> I don't know. And we see three kids from our year one guy and two girls these kids were part of the drug use group these two girls are giving this guy glock glock 9000 wait and two girls are giving crazy. one guy i don't know how that works <laughs> I don't what? know how that works. Yeah, I don't either. How does that work? My Two on one? and I watched and eventually yelled, can I get some too? The guy pulled up his pants and ran like <laughs> hell. The girls <laughs> shortly after. Fast forward a week later, we confronted the guy with visual evidence. You guys did not take a picture. They took video. <laughs> That's so messed up. Yo, so they walked. If someone wants to be an idiot, let them be an idiot alone. Oh my God. Dude, they walked up and they started videotaping like, them. That's foul. That's messed no, up. Oh no. <laughs> Although, to be fair, why are you doing that in a public place behind a school? They said it's in a forest. So it's like. No, they said there's schools in a forest, but it's a spot that everyone goes to look up at. Oh. Well, yeah, maybe I know. you should be more private about it Fast if you're going to be forward, doing that. I'm not excusing the behavior, but just the facts. <laughs> Fast forward a week later, we confronted the guy with visual evidence of this and was willing to pay us to permanently delete the photo. We were both. both so they're paying. blackmailing now. Yeah, we were both paid a hundred dollars each. The moral of the story is do it in a more private, secure area. No, the moral of the story is don't blackmail don't videotape people. Videotape people doing that stuff and don't blackmail them. These people them. are hustlers. Yeah, that's they messed are up. Hustlers. These people got two hundred bucks out of this guy. This other person got five hundred bucks a week. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Yo, I want to see who it is. I know who you are now. You're on my radar. Okay, this. Can Confession is labeled the most embarrassing confession as Spider-Man, which intrigued me. As Spider-Man? I don't know. All right, so I thought I was home alone and decided to dress up as Spider-Man for a TikTok. At this point, I was bored. Hey, I've been there. You do that. I've been there. <laughs> you do that. I've been there. Cue montage. 
<laughs> I'm not judging. I've been there. <laughs> so I went into my backyard in the Spider-Man suit and didn't realize my ex's friends were in my pool. If you thought you were home alone, why are your ex's friends there? They're in his pool? I did that's what it says. They didn't know it was me. They were screaming for me to come over and sit with them in the pool. I was so embarrassed because I'm close with my ex. Anyways, I sat with them and talked. They had me bricked in all caps, is what he said. <laughs> so he comes out in of his own backyard suit. in a Spider-Man oh, suit. No. His ex is just randomly no. in his pool and he's bricked up. This is low-key not lining up. But... Yeah, bro's lying. Wait, wait, we'll see if he's lying. We'll okay. see if it makes sense or not. I had to change my position a lot. Sometimes I tried to take off my mask and sit on my lap, but I had other plans. I took off my mask and made out with them one by one. Oh, I was no. down so bad. I don't believe He's you. Lying right now. I don't believe He's you. Lying. You know what this reminds me of? People in like little middle school and whatnot would be like, yo, I got a girlfriend, and everybody'd be like, yo, who is it? And then you'd be like, Oh, no, it's just some girl from another state. She's out of town. And that's how you know they're lying. Oh, my gosh. That's the vibe this gives. Oh, my gosh. And it's just, then the worst part is that my mom and dad were pulling up in the driveway. I ran back inside, wet, and slipped just as my mom and dad opened the front door. I broke my leg that day. The worst part is my ex found out that I made out with her friends. <laughs> I how thought I the really ex think was this there. Went down, how I really think this probably went down <laughs> is you were in a Spider-Man suit. I, if you're telling the truth, I'm shocked that, you know, you went around making out with all of her friends, you know. You <laughs> bros got game. But, um, you went out in a Spider-Man suit. Someone was, you thought it was cool because everyone was posting it on TikTok at the time. And you knew your ex's friends were over and they would think it was cool. Then you did get bricked up and were like, oh, shoot. Ran back inside, slipped on the floor, broke your leg when your mom was walking in. <laughs> yeah. That sounds more realistic, but hey. What's up I with could these, be wrong. What's up with these people just, like, watching other people? It, like, yeah, they're, it's like, stalker vibes. This is... <laughs> Well, they are confessions. We're not supposed to be judging this much, <laughs> Sam. No one's ever going to want to send us more. Next is, hi, Brooke. Love your videos. Oh, thank you. Uh, would love to be included in this confession. Okay. When I was younger, me and my brother were playing on our bunk bed. Me and him shared a room, obviously. Being the firstborn, I got the top bunk. Being the best at such a young age. <laughs> I don't know what age I was around when this happened, but I'll just say five. Me and my brother were playing in the top bunk, my bed, and jumping around when all of a sudden I really had to pee. I didn't want to leave my brother to have fun all by himself and I just want, didn't want to leave in general. So, being the petty bratty kid I was, I peed in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled down my pants, squatted, and peed. That is I watched, foul! I watched it soak into my bed and when I pulled up my pants I yelled, Mom, Riker, my younger brother, peed in my bed. <laughs> and him being the innocent little brother he was was confused and didn't say anything my mom ran in mad looked for the pee stain and grabbed my little brother he got spanked and i just smiled about the fact i didn't get in trouble oh my so my gosh. brother got in trouble for the trouble i made he is still mad at me to this day now i'm 15 and he's 13. yeah and my mom thinks it was dumb and rude that i got away with it so that's my confession hope you have a lovely day dude if that was my brother I it's would, on site <laughs> It is on if site. If something did that to me, I would be mad. He's too, getting knocked too. out if he did that. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! I don't she care. She was like proud of herself. She's like, I didn't get caught. <laughs> if they peed on their bed and then blamed it on me and I got but it a wasn't even for like, it. it wasn't even like you were little and didn't know how to use the bathroom. She just didn't want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she was like, yeah, screw that this. That makes it even more this messed up. This is so up. much work. I'm just going to pee on my bed. Th that contradicts. She said she was having fun with her brother. And enjoying herself. And she didn't want to have fun without her so she peed on That's such a messed up move. It's so messed up. He definitely never trusted you again. This one has a crazy start already, okay? So, basically this year I peed on my cousin's lap. So oh my god. I'm 14 and she's 15. And we've both been really close, but not in that way. Well, I, I hope, hope not. not. Yeah, you're their <laughs> you're cousin. <cousins. laughs> well, we were both riding this zip wire thing in this park and laughing our heads off. And we came up with this idea where we would sit on the seat part, then our cousin would sit on her lap, and then I would sit on his. Well, because we were laughing so much, I started peeing by accident. So on your male cousin? Yes. Oh, that makes it even worse. No, no, no. The guy is peeing on the girl, I think. So they did it where they're strapped in together. So they could both uh, ride it at the same time. And he's on top and he started peeing by accident because he was laughing. So it's like trickling down on her, basically. Which is disgusting. What would you do? So I would strap out and just let myself fall. That's so gross. Okay. I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't want to embarrass them. I leapt up as soon as I started, but 
there was still some on her. Oh. I just said that's really weird and said it might have just been some sweat because it was summer. I. <laughs> she's, she's not gonna it. smell the pee. <laughs> oh my bad, I just sweated on you. <laughs> like a bunch coming out of here. All of a sudden, my bad, I sweat on you. Like what? <laughs> I just said that's really weird. It might have been some sweat. I then ran back to my grandparents' house and showered, and so did she, because we were boiling. Thank God. It's been a few months now. I don't think I can ever tell her. Don't! She knows. <laughs> she knows She don't knows you peed up. on her. He peed on her and then said, my bad, I sweat on you. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that's a pretty clean cover-up. Yeah, I wouldn't have come up with that on the spot. I would just like, be like, oh my gosh, hopefully they don't notice. I'd be like, what do you even do with that situation? I, I peed on you. I, I, you I, tell I, them. I, no, that's when you just knock them out. Okay, that's not that's not what out. we're promoting here. <laughs> you knock them out. No. And you run and you get a new identity and you move to a different state and you become a okay. whole new person. This one says, I one, I work at a hotel. The blankets only get washed once a year. Disgusting. What hotel are they working at? I was shopping at a bra store and the cashier said we're closing in five minutes, fitting rooms are closed. I proceeded to change and try in the middle of the store. This has got to be fake. First off. That's got to be fake. What hotel? Also, no. That's got to be fake. Tell There's me no what hotel. no way you went bra shopping and were changing in the middle of the store. I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, no one does that. Okay. We I call Cap. I don't believe we you. Should start, we should start seeing if we think it's a lie or not, these stories. Okay. We have to start being like, this is the truth and this is a lie and see okay. if we can... See if people agree with us, basically. Start commenting in the comment section which ones you think are true and which ones you think are fake. Because I feel like there's a lot of fake ones in here. Yeah, that Spider-Man one was fabricated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you it? were lying, bro. <laughs> yeah, Let's nothing see added you. up. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay, maybe you were being honest, but I don't believe you. He was not being honest. We yeah, know he wasn't. I don't think you were being honest. Okay. I don't think anyone would think you're being honest. Someone said, I don't really know why, but at a young age, I just really enjoyed eating Play-Doh. Especially the green. Ooh. Do you have to, I have a question for this person if you're watching this. Do different colored play dohs taste different? Like, does a green taste different than a blue one? Have you never like tried like a little bit of play doh to see what No. Oh, I have. I know what, what they're talking about. What does it about. taste like? I said it was tasty, very tasty. I didn't think it was tasty. But also extremely salty and kind of reminds me of chewing gum. I didn't chew on it <laughs> when it's lost all its flavor. This death fill wasn't a dare to send you this. Someone said, oh, someone dared to send them that. Oh. I've tried the tap and like and tried play doh. I feel like it's I, just salty. I've tasted glue. It doesn't taste good. One time, I bought a movie, a game, and TV episode using my grandma's account and blamed it on my sister. Okay, that's messed it up. It was. Guess how much the total was. Please tell me it's not more than like ten bucks. A thousand dollars. Oh my worth gosh! Of stuff. Oh my god! That's foul. You would take a thousand dollars from your grandma. You're evil. Like genuinely oh, evil. And blame it on your sister. That's even <laughs> yeah. worse. She got grounded for months, and her phone was taken away for years. You and dirty. And you didn't say that it was you. Oh, that's that's yeah. foul. This was when I was seven. I am now thirteen. I'm not excusing the fact that you were seven. Yeah. You a thousand dollars. People like always phone... use age as an excuse. Like, oh, I was just seven. No, that was foul. How dare you? That was messed up. Yeah, you did your. You're thirteen now. Hopefully, you're better. Bad. I'm a twenty-one year old man. Okay. But when I was in ninth grade, I went to school with uniforms, and one day I snuck a girl into my house for the first time oh, to do no. some stuff. This is not gonna go down. We well. were hanging out on the couch, and anyways, at some point she takes her pants off, and I'm using my hands on her, you know, dot dot dot. Ew. And I hear my mom pull into the driveway outside. <laughs> out of the fear, I immediately jumped up and told her to go out the back. She quickly grabbed her stuff and ran out the back. To disguise myself, I turned the shower on ASAP and hopped in. My mom came inside three or four minutes later and asked why I was in the shower in the middle of the day. I told her it's because I was smelly from my walk home. She said, okay, and walked away. At this point, I think I'm in the clear, and I turned the shower off and wrap up in a towel. And as soon as I opened the door, she was standing there with the girl's pants oh. in her hand. This girl ran out of the back in we her underwear. <laughs> In her underwear. Oh, I know. She's humiliated. She dipped in her underwear. Oh, poor thing. But wait. Oh, no. She asked who the pants belong to. I came up with the most genius lie yet. I told her I went to school out of uniform, and when I grabbed a pair of pants to change into, I must have picked up some woman's pants. I guess I sounded pretty genuine because she never asked about it again. Nah, she knows. She knows. She just didn't want to go no, deeper. No, okay, but you know what I'm thinking? The mom still has that girl's pants, so is she just running down the street in her underwear? 
<laughs> yeah, where does a girl go from there? And they're in ninth grade. That poor little girl. I know. I know I might not, maybe I shouldn't, but like, I feel bad for her. Dang. That sucks. Like that, right. imagine if we kept going and found the story of like, I, I ended up running out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> story of how I ran oh out of the house. Oh my gosh. Last one, guys. Okay, last, last confession. Also, if you guys like this video, then give it a like and tell us if you want a part two. I'll also leave the email down below that you can send your confessions to if you're curious. Yeah, this one's just kind of sad. Aww. I accidentally killed my pet fish. Oh. I wanted to clean his aquarium, so I added a lot of soap and stirred it in. A couple oh, of hours later, no. I see that he's not moving. He poisoned him. I guessed he was asleep. When my mom came into the room to feed him, she called me and told me to explain what happened. And when I told her, she looked at me like I was insane and explained to me how I accidentally killed him. We then had a funeral where we flushed him down the toilet and said our goodbyes. Well, that's a, that's sweet that you said your goodbyes. Have a little sympathy for their fish. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like and comment down below if you would like a part two. Ciao! Okay, if you'd okay. like a part two. And yeah, I will leave the email with the anonymous confessions that you can give if you would like to be featured in one of these videos. All right, thank you so much for watching. Love you we guys. We love you Bye. so much.